Hi, I'm Jason Holsey. And I'm Jared Holsey. We are the owners of Load Bearing Wall Pros. This video will give you a front row seat to see the keys to a happy, safe, and successful project in your home. Jonathan and I am one of the foremen here at Load Bearing Wall Pros. First process is I walk through a double check with you to ensure that what you've seen on paper is going to actually take place. My name is Jeremy Constantino. I'm a real estate investor. One thing I was amazed about was the process of how the construction went uh, when Load Bearing Wall Pros showed up. Um, they showed up very professional. Uh, all the construction crew members had uniform shirts on, which uh, stands out when in this world of construction. So the second thing we do is cover the floors uh, with plastic and with blankets. I was impressed of how uh, many crew members there were, but not only how many, but how well they worked together in unison and, and working on the project. Uh, we also have um, large vacuums uh, that suck the air out, exhaust fans that will suck the air out. We do take dust very seriously. Uh, we will begin removing sheetrock. Next step is we put up our temporary supports and start supporting in the attic. The next step, which is cutting out the existing wall and preparing for the beam to go in. Once we've prepared the area uh, where the wall is being removed, we will come in with steel or with an LBL beam, depending on the need for the application. Once the beam is lifted into location, tie the beam into the house by putting hangers on the joist, uh, whether it's a ceiling joist or a floor joist if you have a second floor. And we then begin to transfer the load of the house in that area to the beam. So now the beam is carrying the full load of that area and it's coming down on two points. At one end is a stud pack. A stud pack is simply studs in the wall put together to make it the strongest point in your home and the second would be the same, another step back on the other side. 